is what why I be asked rich. How this picture even came across? Like, as a nigga pulled out the camera, you ain't just feel, let me stand up and, and get the fuck on. Like, you know, I ain't got no problem with dude, you know. But you ain't, no, you ain't feel like, let me stand up and get the fuck on. What's good, Russell fam? Rich the Kid acted just like a little kid when NBA Youngboy confronted him about the recent disrespectful photo that showed up on the internet of him and Lil Durk. Rich the Kid was absolutely caught off guard once he was asked the very simple question by NBA Youngboy, who's considered to be his brother, not just a fellow rapper and collaborator. See, Rich the Kid was caught slipping by YB, and since then, we're not so sure where his loyalty lies anymore. Safe to say that Rich disappointed YB. It's kind of uncertain if their relationship has a future now. So what really happened between these two? And why is everyone clowning Rich the Kid for his very embarrassing reaction? On the 9th of December, NBA Youngboy aired his very first show of his freshly launched radio show. And already on the very first episode that he hosted, things went down for real. One of the people asked to participate in this radio show was on one of his day ones, the famous rapper Rich the Kid. The conversation only lasted for a few minutes, and things seemed pretty chill between them, but it quickly got extremely awkward once YB cooked up an uncomfortable question for Rich about a certain photo that he came across on the internet. Truthfully, the photo, which was the topic of the conversation, has been around for quite some time now. However, the circumstances and the backstory of the photo were never discussed between these two publicly in the form of live conversation. For those of y'all who missed it, there's a photo where Rich the Kid and Lil Durk can be seen together eating at Blue Mar Restaurant in the Hamptons of New York. These two and a bunch of other rappers were in the Hamptons over the weekend because Michael Rubin, the famous entrepreneur, was hosting a 4th of July party. Interestingly enough, people like Jay-Z, Drake, Travis Scott, and 21 Savage all appeared at the party. But out of all those people, Rich was seen eating with NBA Youngboy's sworn nemesis, Lil Durk. And in case you somehow missed it, Durk and YB have been beefing for quite some time now. The two weren't on good terms even before Durk's closest friend and cousin King Vaughn was shot and killed by one of Youngboy's affiliates, Quando Rondo. However, after that tragic night, the beef between YB and Durk reached an all-time high. The reason why Vaughn's death caused caused even more trouble between these two is because the person who got into a fight with Vaughn shortly before he was shot was YB's artist, Quando Rondo. Quando was signed to YB's label, and because of that, everyone knew the implications and intricacies that would occur. To remind us of the hate towards Lil Durk, YB dissed him yet again on one of his more recent tracks, I Hate Young Boy, where he dissed half of the music industry too. But the fact that YB mentioned this photo now after quite some time did come as a surprise especially because Rich the Kid already tried squashing any potential problems that could have come as a result. Just to make things clear about who he's loyal to and what party he representing, Rich hopped on Instagram as soon as allegations started coming his way. He left a message to all those people who doubted him and said, First off, I love all the fans, but y'all got chilled the out. Top my brother in real life, not this weird-ass internet world y'all live in. And if you see me somewhere, I was paid. If you ask him, getting caught on a photo with one of his best friend's ops has nothing to do with him betraying him. In the comments section of the post, he also clarified things. It was strictly business. I got paid for the Rich the Kid performance. And if my bro ain't tripping on why the f you folk eating my y'all can't wait to see a dude crash out. But if you ask YB, Rich wasn't off the hook yet. It's not as simple as that. NBA Youngboy was obviously surprised to see that photo and it didn't make much sense to him. Precisely because of that, once Rich was tuned into the show, NBA Youngboy confronted him about it and asked him a couple things. Also, if it was really only about the money, why didn't he call YB up? He could have gladly helped out with whatever Rich the Kid needed. Listen to the conversation yourself. This is what YB asked Rich. How this picture even came across? Like, as a nigga pulled out the camera, you ain't just feel, let me stand up and, and get the fuck on. Like, you know, I ain't got no problem with dude, you know. But you ain't, no, you ain't feel like, let me stand up and get the fuck on. After YB called out Rich, there was nothing but silence on the line. It's probably one of the most awkward silences that Rich had in his life. He completely froze and had absolutely nothing to say. You can say what you want about their conversation, but YB definitely checked Rich with this one. And comments sprouting online kind of telling the same story. Check it out. Not gonna lie, he really treated Rich like he was actually the kid. I felt embarrassed for Rich. To finally break the unbearable silence, YB told Rich the kid. It's all good. It's all good. You know, this a, is this a positive station. That silence is everything. You hear me? Even though I'm talking a little aggressive and I'm, I'm going to play a lot of music to su support certain people, fuck it. There were a couple of subtle moments during their conversation that tell us a lot more about how the two of them actually felt. And there's a couple of things to be said about that as well. 
Judging by the sheer manner in which young boy talked to Rich and Kid in his tone, it was rather obvious that YB's feelings were involved in this one. Rich is his homie, and it hurts when someone plays you dirty like that. This photo is not proof of them not being on good terms any longer since they wouldn't be talking if that were the case, and he wouldn't have him on his debut radio show. But it goes to show just how important loyalty is for YB. He's all about family, and he doesn't take these matters lightly at all. If you cross him once, you're done, period. Actually, if you think about it, the fact that Rich remained silent at all times and didn't try to argue tells you that he might actually feel very guilty about what happened. Perhaps he truly regrets getting caught in a photo that night with Lil Durk, and he wishes it never happened. Whether or not YB did him wrong by calling him out during his show for everyone else to hear is a different question. But what y'all think about this situation? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. If you like this video, make sure to check this next one out. Click that like and subscribe button. And as always, remember to keep it real.